So, son, you've come to the tropics. Heard all you had to do was sit in the shade of a coconut glade while the dollars roll into you. They gave you that at the bureau. Did you get your statistics straight? Well, hear what it did to another kid before you decide your fate. You don't go down with a hard, short fall. You just sort of shuffle along, and you lighten your load of the moral code till you can't tell the right from the wrong. I started off, to be honest, with everything on the square, but a man can't fool with a golden rule in a crowd that don't play fair. It's a choice of riding a dirty race, or of being an also-ran. My only hope was to steal and dope the horse of the other man. I pulled a deal in Guayaquil, in an Inca silver mine, but before they found was salted ground, I was safe in Argentine. I made short wade on the river plate, when running a freighter there, and I cracked a crib on a rich estate without even turning a hair. But the thing that'll double bar my soul, when it flaps at heaven's doors, t'was peddling booze to the Santa Cruz and Winchester 44s. Made unafraid by my kindly aid, the drunk crazed brutes came down, and left in a quivering blazing mass a flourishing border town. I was then in charge of a smuggler's barge on the coast of the Yucatan, but she sank to hell off Cozumel one night in a hurricane. I got to shore on a broken oar in the filthy shrieking dark, while the other two of my good ship's crew were converted into shark. From a limestone cliff I flagged a skiff with a salt-soaked pair of jeans, and I worked my way for I couldn't pay on a fruiterer to New Orleans. It's kind of a habit, the tropics. It got you worse than the rum. You'll get away and you'll swear you'll stay, but it calls, and back you come. Six short months went by before I was back there on the job, running a war in Salvador with a black-faced barefoot mob. It was General Santiago Hicks at the head of a grand revolt, and my only friend, from start to end, was a punishing army cult. I might have been El Presidente by now, a prosperous man of means, but a gunboat came and blocked my game with a hundred and ten marines. So I awoke from my dream, dead broke, and then I drifted from bad to worse, and sank as low as a man can go who walks with an empty purse. But stars, they say, appear by day when you're down in a deep black pit. My lucky star found me that way when I was about to quit. In a fiery, hot, flea-ridden cot, I was down with a yellow jack, alone in the bush and all but dead. She found me and nursed me back. She came like the miracle man of old and opened my bad, blind eyes, and upon me shone a bright new dawn as I turned my face to the skies. There was pride and grace in her brown young face, for hers was the blood of kings. In her eyes there shone the glory of empires gone, and the secret of world old things. We were spliced in a Yankee meeting house on the land of your Uncle Sam, and I drew my pay from the USA, for I worked at the Gatun Dam. Mind you, I take no credit for coming back to my own. Though I walked again with honest men, I couldn't have done it alone. Then the devil sent his right-hand man. I might have expected he would. And he took her life with a long, thin knife, because she was straight and good. Within me died hope, honor, pride, and all but a primitive will, to hound him down on his blood-red trail, and find, and kill, and kill. Through logwood swamps and chickle camps, 
I hunted him many a moon, and I found my man in a long pit pan at the edge of a blue lagoon. The chase was o'er at the farther shore. It ended a two years' quest, and I left him there with a vacant star and a John Crow on his chest. You see these punctures on my arm? You'd like to know what they mean. These marks were left by fingers deft of my trained nurse, Miss Morphine. Perhaps you think that's worse than drink. It's possible, too. You're right. At least it drives away the things that come and stare in the night. There's a homestead down in an old main town with lilacs around the gate. And the northerners whisper, it might have been, but the truth has come too late. They say they give me a month to live. A month or a year's the same. I haven't the heart to play my part at the end of a losing game. For whenever you play, whatever the way, for stakes that are large or small, the claws of the tropics will gather your pile, and the dealer gets it all.